a steady supply of water. Good seeing you. Please, talk. I'd like to help. Help what? Remind me of my poverty? My drinking problem? Or that I'm a heinous flower thief? I'm not making assumptions. I just want to hear your story. I want to hear the truth. The truth? You want the truth? Here's the truth. I would never rob a friend. Never. And that's the end of my story. Did Teresa tell you about the half year's wages she owes me? I needed Teresa to sell that flower so she could pay me. Why would I risk everything? My well-being, Teresa, and her sons, by stealing it. I thought you were best friends. So did I. Until today. Since the fall, we've been close. I lost my child. She lost her husband. I... I became very depressed. Suicidal. Teresa got me through it. She even cooked for me and my husband, who drank heavily. I can't believe she'd accuse me of this. She'd mentioned you were storing the flower. I figured it was the best way to keep watch over it, and make sure I got paid. So we put it in my shed, near the tower. I went to check on it this morning, and... nothing. All gone. You didn't see anyone lurking nearby, or...? Anything suspicious? You don't think I would have mentioned that by now? I can only tell you that I did not steal that flower. I wouldn't do that to Teresa. Or to myself. The only strange thing was that nothing else was stolen. My buckwheat, my beets, untouched. Whoever it was only wanted the flower. Interesting. Mind if I go check out the shed? Maybe it just needs to be looked at with a fresh pair of eyes. Knock yourself out. People this close shouldn't hurt each other. <clears throat> Doors unlocked. Somebody must have had keys. Nothing's broken. Someone was very familiar with this place. The rest of the supplies are untouched. They knew exactly what they were looking for. Footprints. One set of shoes. Thief worked alone. Flower trail on the ground. Bags dragged this way. I 
Sometimes I venture out at the street level just to look at the shops and signs from before the fall. Don't know what hmm. Trail ends here. Who had the keys to the shed? Me and my husband. Nobody else? You sure? There's no sign of forced entry, Anna. Whoever took the flower had the keys. Or made copies. So you do think it was me? It's not out of the question. I thought at least you would believe me. What next? How do I return something I haven't taken? You can't draw blood from stone. Calm down and think. Who else would do this, and why? Help me help you. Unless Teresa's right after all. Hard to tell. Someone from the bazaar, perhaps? There's Dodger. That guy's capable of anything. And then there's Benny, Teresa's son. And that's all I can come up with. What about Teresa's son? Why would he do this? Normally, I wouldn't suspect him. Nice kid. I've known him all his life. He's like a son to me. But lately, he's been quiet, like he's got something to hide. And maybe he does. But no, Benny wouldn't have done this. It would break Teresa's heart, and he knows it. And even if he had taken the flower, why? That seems to be the central question for everyone involved. Where can I find Benny? Not sure. He's been making himself pretty scarce. That said, I'm sure Teresa's got him guarding their storehouses. Make sure what meager goods they have left are safe. I'll look for him. Since you helped my husband, I'll share a secret with you. The storehouses are full of traps. So be careful. My shed has nothing of the sort, which is probably why it was so easy to steal from. And as for Benny, Teresa keeps close tabs on her son. Ask her. Who's this Dodger you mentioned? He's a snake, that's why. One of the shadiest characters in the bazaar. Come to think of it, he took an interest in Teresa's grain harvest recently. Asked a lot of questions. Never paid any mind before. I should talk to him. You'll find him at the bazaar, but watch your back. He doesn't give a rat's ass about people. Just money. Can you tell me where you were the night the flower was stolen? At home with my husband. There's not much more to say. And not much more, or nothing? Nothing. I was home with my husband. End of story. Accusations are devastating enough around here. I'm ruined. And not if we find the flower and prove it was someone else. Perhaps. But in my experience, the damage has been done. Maybe, maybe not. Let's see what I can find out. At least you believe me. Thank you for that. Friend's betrayal hurts the most.
I gave you money to buy water. But what did you do? The intersection well, the of Hamilton Avenue. How should I know there were scammers? You couldn't have stayed. Maybe they're quitting. David, you've been around a lot. You're practically one of us now. I really didn't have to ask. So I came. You will get used to it. You really think so? I know. But we can't avoid that. Men I know. I ain't leaving the bazaar. I thought I could. Aiden, warms my heart to see a treasured friend. You getting sentimental on me? I have a mission for you. You have to defeat an army of virals and then jump into fire. A jump? From how high? What? I'm jumping into fire, aren't I? <laughs> you got me! I'll be damned. And here I was thinking you were a stiff pilgrim. What do you need? Teresa's flower was stolen, and I want to find out who did it. Teresa's flower was... What the fuck? Okay, you've got my attention. What do you know about a woman named Anna? What, the one who works for Teresa? Not all that much. Her husband sometimes sits in on our card games. He never said boo about her. Not even a few pints in. That says something right there. You know where Benny might be? Do I look like his mother? Believe me, he's on top of my where are they now list. He went down in flames in our last card game. He almost literally bet the farm. And lost. So if you're looking for that flower, it's not Teresa's or Benny's no more. It's mine. The kid owed it to me. And if it's missing, it was stolen from me. Aha. Uh -huh. So Benny's in your debt. Big time. Up to his ears, you might say. In flower. You think he stole it? Could be. He's a dumb kid who might think that will stop me from trying to collect. I need to find him then. Ask Mother Teresa. She's usually got the boy on a short leash. Except for poker nights, clearly. So now you know I have the most skin in this game. If that flower isn't found, I am the big loser. So maybe check out Teresa's storehouses. Hmm, seems like just the place a dumb kid like Benny would think he could hide. And if you do get your hands on the flower, just kindly bring it straight to me. I'll pay you handsomely for the service, of course. But it will save everyone a lot of grief, and... Hey, I get my flower. We can put this behind us.
Oof, that floor doesn't look safe. Maybe there's another way. Ha! <laughs> gotcha. Pretty empty as warehouses go. Hey, what the fuck are you doing here? Is that you, Pilgrim? You shouldn't be here, mate. How'd you get in? And Benny, right? We need to talk. I don't like this. Dodger sent you, did he? Tell him I'm pulling together what I owe him. I'm just... I just haven't got it yet. Hold up, Benny. So you're saying you're in debt to Dodger? Dodger hasn't sent you. No. How much do you owe him? Only you had a reason to steal the flower. You bastard. Do you think that just because you turn on the water, you got free run of the place? Tell me I'm wrong. I ain't telling you nothing. Fuck <sighs> off. Benny.
Where are you, Benny? First, answer a few questions, but I want the truth. Did you steal the flower? No, I don't even know where it is. So why did you attack me? Thought you might have been one of Dodger's boys, come to collect. I see. You're in deep with Dodger and used your mother's bountiful harvest for collateral. I was hot that night, mate, and the pot was big enough we could have bought the Jansen's fields. With the water back on and all, Mum and me would have been sitting pretty for the rest of our days. But then things got ugly and... Ain't no other way to tell it. I lost. So did Dodger take the flower? To settle up? Doubt it. Could have just made me bring it to him. And I would have. He's too lazy to do anything himself. But you know, mate, don't tell him I said that. What's the meaning of this? Stealing the flower was your job, Teresa. So you pilgrims really are crazy. He's off his nut, Mum. You shut your trap and listen, young man. I've had enough of you as well. Benny wouldn't have pulled this off on his own. He's not exactly the brightest chap. No offense, ma'am. None taken. Lump of coal for brains, that one. Mum? <sighs> Very well. I did it. But I really had no choice, Aiden. We worked for months on that crop. Worked our fingers to the bone. It yielded enough to last for months. There'd be bread, enough to feed the whole bazaar. But you know what Dodger would do if he got it? Sell it back to us for triple the price. We'd end up paying for our own flower. A cruel joke. All because of a stupid card game. We'd be ruined. I couldn't allow that. I wouldn't. So... Where is the flower? Under the water tower. You must understand, it can't go to Dodger. And why not? He wanted fair and square. Dodger? Fair and square? Hardly. 
He's a cheat. Everyone knows it. We just can't prove it. Okay. Say you're right. Is there a middle ground? Can we give him something else instead? Someone like Dodger doesn't seem all that flexible. He's got to be, mate. Talk to him, please. Ask him for more time. Anything. We're begging you. Uh, let me think about that. You are our only hope. Don't get melodramatic, Benny. The pilgrim knows what he's doing. Got him. Serves him right, you asked me. Shrooms, blanch the asparagus, fry the onion until translucent. So that's what they rubbed you up? A little. The worst thing was they took all the equipment. Okay, let's make things lively. One hundred more. No freaking way. Unless you're willing to cut the time by ten seconds. Deal. Living dangerously. It was already an impossible task. Well, we'll see about that. Aiden, you find my flower yet? Yeah, that's what I'm here about. Teresa and Benny are in dire straits. Can you forgive their dad, or at least give them more time? Fuck that. How many times do I have to say I'm not running a charity? I didn't force Benny to play cards. You know, a man can't pay his debts well. <laughs> He's not a man, is he? Stupid is as stupid does. Maybe when they got nothing left but the skivvies on their butts, they'll have learned a valuable lesson. You know what, Aiden? Actually, yeah, I think I got something to help everyone. Honestly, nah, who cares about flour? What, am I going to be a baker all of a sudden? <laughs> I don't think so. But I do want what I'm owed. And me and Urban, we've got this bet. Wait, whoa, whoa, no fair, not him. He runs on walls. Of course it's fair. There's no rule against having him get them. You pull this off, Aiden, and what Urban will have to pay me will more than cover my losses on the flower. And there'll be extra I can throw your way. Wait, what exactly are you talking about here? You see, on top of the church, there's this, uh, well, let's just call it a flag. 
You can't see it from the ground, but this flag... Well, it's, it's not a flag. Yeah, you'll know when you see it. Urban and I made a bet that I could find someone who could nab it for us. I've been raising the stakes for years, and Urban's called me every time. But with the amount on the line now, you know it would be a sin not to give it a try. Uh, I'm in no hurry. Rather you just keep raising the stakes till it gets real juicy. What's that? <laughs> Fear suddenly got you all puckered. Nah, I, I'm just looking out for you. It'll ruin you if you lose now, being out the flower and all. Well, I'm game if Aiden is. The time limit's pretty fucking brutal, but, you know, I've got faith in Aiden here. So, you in? Let's do this. Well, then let's just get to it, shall we? Three, two, one, go. Andale, Aiden. Make me proud. Did I tell you, Urban? I told you! <laughs> Been waiting years for this. We've got a winner! The Andy challenge has been conquered. Way to go, Aiden. All right, all right. Don't get so excited. You're ugly when you gloat, you know that? So what's the deal with this flag? <laughs> it's a pair of Carl's old undies. You put Teresa and Benny's life at stake for some old underwear? This was more about the bet itself, but the undies are symbolic. There is a great story behind them, too. No one remembers when exactly, but long ago, a wild wind blew Carl's laundry off his line, and it got stuck on the roof. Carl wanted to mount some big mission to rescue his clothes. <laughs> Can you believe that? Anyway, everyone refused, of course. No one could climb that high. Off and on, a good wind would sometimes bring down a sock, maybe a shirt. But Carl's undies stuck there, flying proud. Urban bet me that I would never find someone who could fetch them for us. <laughs> but I did! <laughs> so you'll cancel Teresa and Benny's debt now? Like it never existed. And you, my new friend, you saved the day. Take this with my thanks. We keep making more kids, but not more bio workers. How are we supposed to make that? 
that work? Where have you been? With him, I bet. Did you at least get the water? This is all he managed to sneak out. That's it? Just that? He'll try to take a bit more next time. Damn well better. I wonder what the hell is going on in the Central Loop since people have restricted access. It's nice to see everything grow. with Dodger. Yeah, he won't be hassling you about your flower anymore. Mate, how'd you do it? I won a bet for him. A strange one. But now we're in your debt. We'll never be able to repay you. Then pay it forward. Start by apologizing to Anna. Yes. Yes, of course. Oh, God, what have I done? I'll go right away. Maybe it's not too late to repair things. I've been such a prat. This is all my fault. Just try to keep your nose clean from now on. For your mother's sake, if not your own. I hope my mum makes up with Anna. Yeah.
sparker card. I know exactly who's looking for this. <laughs>